In this section, I want to talk about encrypting a file. By encrypting a file, I mean ciphering a file so that nobody else can read that file. And let's talk about doc.txt. We were compressing that file in previous section. Now, I want to open property of that file. You can see the window is already open. And I click on advanced <laughs> at once. And, and now you can see that we have two options, as I told you. They are mutually exclusive. I mean, if you select to encrypt, you cannot select to compress. And if you select to compress, you cannot encrypt that file. In server version of Windows, of course, you can have both of them. But here, you need to stick with one of them. So I go with encryption. So if I click on the encrypt and click on OK, now I can go and click on Apply. As you see, there is a warning. It tells me that it is not a good practice to encrypt a file only you are better to encrypt a folder and all objects under that folder are going to be encrypted too. Here, I'm not going with this best practice. I actually want to encrypt the file only. So I select this and click on OK. Click on OK again and you can see this file is green. So it means that it is encrypted. So what does it mean by encryption? I want to tell you. If I click on this file, it opens. There is nothing wrong with that. I can just go and you know type something else and save it and close it. And that's it. You can see that it is completely transparent to the user. But what happens if, I, uh, if somebody else wants to see this file? Let me see that. I go here and go to sign out. You can see that by signing out, it tells me, oh, the memory is, uh, there, there, there was a memory error. So here I want to, you know, log in using this account. Here I type the password. And actually, the password is incorrect. Let me type it again. Oh my god, the password is incorrect? What does it mean? Uh... Uh huh. No, the password is incorrect. Let me type this. I want to see what happens to my password here. So, 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 what was the password? Oh my God, what is this? I don't know. Let me see. It was one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six. That's it. The password is one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh my God, that's very, very odd. Okay, now we are going to log in using another account, assuming that I am someone else. I'm not John. I am, for example, Muhammad. I, 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 I want to open this file now. Let me first. Uh, let me let me wait for some time. Okay, that's a starting. Let me cancel this out. I don't want to have. Where, where is my mouse? Oh my God. I cannot find my mouse. That's it. Okay, now let's go to drive C and drive C. I want to open the docs folder. As you can see, it tells me you don't currently have permission to access this folder. What does it mean? Oh my God! I need to assign. Uh, you know, I, I need to give an administrative password to open this folder. Now let me see if I try to open this using administrator account. The administrator account has a password and I need to enter the password and it opens. Now you can see this encrypted file. If I try to open this file, it tells me access is denied. I cannot open this file. That's because it is encrypted. And if I want to open this file, I I, I need to I, I, I can choose one of the two ways. First, I need to ask John to give me the access to open this file. Actually, it is giving me his certificate, and I am installing this certificate, and then I can open this file. The second thing is I need to import his certificate uh, from an exported file that he has used. Both of them go with certificates. Let me go back to John's account. So if I go back to uh, signing out and go to John account, where are you, John? John, 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 this is let me enter the password and get in. You can see that that file cannot be opened using another account. And that's exactly what I wanted to do.
but here it is transparent for me. So if I want to, you know, give the give access to other users, I need to go to properties and go to advanced. As you can see, now the details is enabled. I can click on details, and I can add another user account. For example, this is John. John is the only one to have this certificate. So the only name that I see here is John. So what I'm going to do is this. I need to cancel this out, cancel this out. I need to go to start menu and type MMC. And this is going to open Microsoft Management Console for me. So let me open this console and I want to show you something. Go to file menu, go to add remove snap in. And here you should select certificate. By selecting certificate and clicking on add, this dialog box opens. I want to open certificates for my user account. That's it. Click on finish. And now click on OK. Now I need to open this pane, this, this uh, console for two purposes. One of them is I want to export the certificate and give access to other users. And I want to let them install my certificate so that they can open my encrypted files. For this, I can go and click on here go to personal, go to certificate, and this is the certificate that I use for encryption. As you can see, the intended purpose is encrypting file system. Now, I right click on this and go to all tasks and select to export this. As you can see, by exporting this, I am actually creating a backup of this certificate. This is my second intention. Actually, I want to export this to a flash memory or a network share or somewhere else on a DVD-ROM. I want to hold this certificate so that when I change my windows or if I want to open this file on another computer, I have a backup of the certificate. I can install this certificate on that computer and then I can open my own file. So I go and click on next, select yes, export the private key to Next, I don't want to touch anything here. Next, and now I want to password protect this certificate. This means if somebody else wants to open the certificate and install it on his computer, he needs to have this password. So I click on password and type a very strong password here. That's it. This is a very strong password. And click on next. Now I need to give it a file name. I just want to type C colon backslash certificate. That's it. You do not need to assign any extension to that. Click on next and it tells me that it is creating a certificate.pfx file on drive C. Finish. The export is successful. Now I want to minimize this and if I go to drive C I can see this file, certificate.pfx. Now, if Mohammed wants to open this file, my encrypted file that is doc.txt, he needs to install this certificate first. Let me see that. How can I do that? Let's go and sign out. And sign in using Mohammed's account. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's a very strong password here. And logging in. I go to drive C and here is the certificate. I need to install it first. I double click on that. It tells me do I want to install for current user or local machine. Actually I want to use it for current user. Uh, this is a file name. That's okay. Now it needs me to give it the password. So Mohammed has asked John to give him the password and now he knows the password. He types the password and clicks next and as you can see the certificate is going to be installed in a minute. That's it. The import is successful. Now if Mohammed goes and opens a Microsoft Management Console using MMC command, he can go and import the certificate snap in and click on OK. And he can open this and go to personal and see the certificate. He can see that John's certificate is installed for his user account too. 
Now if he wants to go to drive C, go to DAX folder and tries to open DAX, now he can open the files and you can see that it is not denying him the access to this file. That's the purpose of encryption. But as I told you, by going to Microsoft Management Console and importing the certificates to snapping, you can have this file backed up. And I'm going to talk about backup later, but this is what I mean by backing up the certificate. So in the next section I want to talk about BitLocker drive encryption. That's a much more better option for you know, encrypting files and the whole files of a drive.